Jeremy Green, Director of Advanced Planning for CBS Brokerage. I know these are difficult times, and many of your clients are fearful and looking to you for your guidance. Having spent many years in the RA space myself, I recall what, what it was like in 2008, like many of you do. What I wanted to spend some time on with you today is find a way to take advantage of the current environment to offer some opportunity to validate the reasons why your clients were with you in the first place by finding some upside to this. One of the techniques we'll be looking at today is called a grant or retained annuity trust, which is essentially a technique that allows you to transfer assets off balance sheet without the use of lifetime exemption. So how does that work and why now? Clients could transfer assets to this grant. Let's just say it was three million for an example. The grant would have a term of years let's say two years. The GRAT would simultaneously pay back over that two-year period, once a year, the full three million, or we would design it that way anyway. Plus, the government says we have to mandate they pay back something called the 75-20 rate. What is the 75-20 rate? It's an actual rate that right now is at 1.2% which is obviously low. And why is that important? Because that is the hurdle, that 1.2%, that we need those assets to grow greater than, to the extent that, that at the end of this term is trust, that the assets grew at a great, greater, greater rate than the 1.2%, those accrue to the beneficiaries of the trust. Could be children, could be another trust. So if this three million grew into four million, one million would transfer at the end of this gift and estate tax free without the use of any lifetime exemption. Who should be the beneficiary of this trust? I would recommend another trust, frankly. A couple of reasons why. Number one, the clients may not have been prepared to know what to do with that money if they already didn't have a wealth transfer plan in place. So this is one less thing to say no to and one more thing to say yes to because you're giving them flexibility. The money could go from that grant that was up there into this new trust or an existing trust and even could pay back the grantor if this trust ha had a spouse as a permissible beneficiary. In other words, this whole thing could be unwound. That's a maximum flexibility. So what is the downside to this then? The only downside is the cost, which you could probably get, you can get this done for about $2,000 or at least we could get this done for you for $2,000. Um, and we, can, we would work with your outside counsel, people you like to use, or we could recommend somebody. But the point is there's lots of things that could happen with once that money is inside this trust, uh, a new trust that from the grat, the, it could purchase life insurance or it could go to an islet that already has life insurance and pay the premiums. It could be inside a brokerage account. It could buy business interests off the balance sheet of the grantor that would accrue off balance sheet additionally. Lots of different things we could do. Frankly, if somebody had a federal taxable estate, it wouldn't be one solution. There'd be multiple solutions that we could be looking at, but the GRAT in combination with this is really good. So how does CBS help? CBS does the modeling for our GRATs. We also do, obviously, insurance illustrations and so forth, but we all understand that you are doing integrated financial plans for clients, and when we do project work like this, we use mind mapping software that kind of lays out the project and we collaborate with you, your team, and outside counsel. There will need to be a gift tax, or not a gift tax return, but a, a return, uh, income tax return done for the grant. Uh, that usually costs about $500, depends on the accountant. And the taxes flow right back to the grantor. So in other words, if they had uh, S&P 500 ETF, the S&P 500 ETF would have done whatever it was doing on the client's balance sheet, just as it would in the grant. They're, they're, no, they're no worse for the wear. Thank you for your time. I wanted to, um, to give you our contact information. Hopefully there'll be an opportunity to work together. Uh, please do contact us. Uh, the number is 763-450-1871. And as well, you can see my email address. Thank you.